It's 13 Friends for Life Day. Time to remind your friend for life to know her normal. And that includes everything from getting that yearly mammogram to self-breast exams and knowing your family history of breast cancer. There's exciting news when it comes to preventing breast cancer. A breast cancer vaccine just got approved by the FDA for testing in humans. And Dr. Paul Wright, a surgical oncologist with Spectrum Health, is here to talk with us about this new advancement. So the biggest question, of course, is, you know, how soon will the breast cancer vaccine trial start? But there are some things that need to get worked out first before we can begin it. Yeah, typically this can uh, take uh, up to several years um, before it gets to widespread use. Uh, we're all, of course, familiar with how quickly the COVID-19 vaccine has come to light, which is abnormal, uh, abnormally fast. Um, this is going to take some time and testing, uh, but certainly uh, the preliminary data are exciting, and, and we're hoping that it uh, show, continues to show promise. And so who will they be targeting with this vaccine? So this particular vaccine is uh, looking at uh, women who are at high risk for breast cancer. Uh, and so uh, we don't have all the details yet in terms of uh, who will be included in, in sort of the initial trials, uh, but certainly women uh, that uh, have genetic mutations that might predispose them to developing breast cancer, or maybe women that have a strong family history, uh, those that we consider to be uh, high risk uh, for developing breast cancer in their lifetime. And do you think this eventually will come to people in West Michigan where they can be involved in the trial? Yeah, usually uh, there are sort of hurdles to uh, go through for trials. And so uh, they often start smaller um, to make sure that the vaccine is safe um, in humans and that uh, hopefully there's some initial signs that it is effective. Um, and then it usually will expand from there uh, to involve um, uh, multi, uh, multiple hospitals um, and uh, get this available to people here in West Michigan. So we have to have a little bit of patience yet. I mean, it's exciting to hear that it's on the horizon, but there's a lot that has to get done. Do you think this shows promise in preventing vaccine and in the initial studies? Yes, uh, I, the initial studies are uh, promising, certainly, but we have to uh, to sort of reserve judgment until we see some more information. Uh, unfortunately, not everything that works well in animal studies translates well uh, to humans. And so uh, the, we have to you know, guard ourselves and, and not be too optimistic, although uh, certainly it's a big breakthrough um, uh, to, to get trials open. And hopefully this will help uh, women who are at high risk of developing breast cancer. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Wright, for giving us a little bit more insight into the breast cancer vaccine. If you're interested in learning more, I've got information for you to check out on 13onyourside.com.